Today you will learn 10 of the possible reasons of why you didn't sleep well yesterday and what you can do about it to start improving your sleep quality today. So let's start. Number one, undiagnosed sleep disorders. Restless leg syndrome or sleep apnea could be disrupting your sleep without your awareness. These conditions can lead to restless nights at frequent awakenings, impacting the quality of your rest. We need to first know if you're suffering from this disorder, so you either have to ask your partner if you snore or you're moving too much at night, or you record yourself during the evening and see if there is something initial. If that is the case, you should definitely go and consult a specialist to treat this disorder as soon as possible. Number two, excessive caffeine intake. Consuming too much caffeine, especially later in the day can interfere with your ability to fall asleep and stay asleep. Caffeine has a half-life of five to six hours. That also means that one-fourth of your caffeine consumed is still in your system after 10 to 12 hours. So be really aware not to consume coffee or tea too late in the afternoon. And these also include things like energy drinks, or mate, or even matcha as well. Number three, lack of sunlight exposure. Insufficient exposure to natural light, particularly when it's cloudy or cold days, can disrupt your circadian rhythm and make it harder for you to fall asleep at night. Try to get sun in the morning. And what I usually try to do, I try to get pauses during the day and I go and look at the sky even though it's cloudy or it's cool because this little rays of UV will help reset my brain which allows me to fall asleep faster. And the days I don't go out and I don't see the sun, I really have problems going to sleep. So go and try it today. Number four, overeating before bed. Eating a large meal or too much drinking close to bedtime can lead to discomfort and indigestion, making it difficult to fall asleep and stay asleep through the night. It is better to avoid any big meals or drinks at least three to four hours before going to bed. There are some people that wake up in the middle of the night to go to pee. This is called nocturia, and this is usually caused of drinking too many fluids close to bedtime. There could also be other more deeper problems, and if you think that is the case, please consult the doctor, but this is something you should treat because it's breaking your sleep and it's making you harder to fall asleep back again and you're losing a lot of sleep quality time. Number five, alcohol or cannabis consumption. While alcohol and marijuana may initially help you relax and fall asleep faster, they can disrupt the quality of your sleep cycle. And this leads to fragmented and less restorative sleep overall. Just need to remember that sedation is not sleep and everyone can recognize that, for example, when you go to a party and you drink, even though it's in the weekend and you sleep longer, you will still wake up tired the next day. Try it, just do the experiment of going to a party and not drinking and also sleeping longer in the weekend, and you may be able to recognize that you don't feel as tired. And the reason is because it's alcohol is affecting your sleep quality. So reduce your alcohol consumption, especially at night before sleeping. Number six, daytime napping. Taking long or frequent naps during the day can affect your body's natural sleep track, and it makes, you, and it, makes it harder to fall asleep at night. I would suggest not everyone is a napper, not everyone can take naps and then go to sleep. But sometimes you, you're so tired and you're okay, I'm gonna take a nap, but then it's making it worse for the evening. So you need to understand your body and you need to know that you may be a person that is not made for naps or only very short naps very early during the day. Because to be honest, it's better to be tired during the day and then fall, go to sleep earlier than taking a nap, not recovering completely, and then having a lot of problems to sleep that night. Number seven, lack of sleep priority. Not prioritizing sleep and maintaining inconsistent sleep habits can contribute to poor sleep quality. I would recommend to establish a regular sleep schedule where you know what time you should start, you should finish everything you're doing and then go to bed. And then you know, okay, I'm planning to sleep eight hours to nine hours. You need to include a time 
that it's the time it takes you for you to fall asleep. And if you include this in the calculation, then you will be able to sleep a little bit longer. And you need to prioritize the sleep schedule as if, for, if it is, for example, a work schedule. At that time, you don't do anything else, you don't plan anything else, because you know that's a priority and you know it's a responsibility for yourself and also for everyone else, because when you sleep better, your brain is better, your mind is better, your energy and your presence is better, you look better, actually, and it's better for everyone else. So not only do it for you, but do it for everyone else around you. Number eight, electronic devices use before bed. Excessive screen time before bedtime, such as using smartphones or computer, can disrupt your sleep. The blue light emitted by these devices can suppress the production of melatonin, hormones that regulate sleep, making it harder to fall asleep and potentially reducing the quality of your sleep. I just recommend for you and your phone and everything, if you need to use it close to bed, let's say an hour or two hours before bed, put the dark mode, try to turn off every computer device, because even though you know it's here in your brain, it's not so, then it's hard to fall asleep. So try to, you know, win out or disconnect from all the devices at least one or two hours before. And if you need to do it, use the dark mode and it's something you can start doing today. Number nine, stress and anxiety. High levels of stress or anxiety can keep your mind racing at night, making it difficult to relax and fall asleep. Stress management techniques such as mindfulness, meditation, Deep breathing exercise or journaling before bedtime can help calm your mind and improve sleep quality. And I think one of the biggest sleep stresses is actually going to sleep. Many people know they have problems going to sleep. They know they, the last day they haven't been able to sleep properly. And then they just feel like, oh, now I'm not going to sleep bad. And then you're thinking, thinking about it, that you will not be able to sleep well that night and it make it worse. You know, a little bit of sleep is better than nothing. So if you put in your effort and resting is better than not doing anything. So just start to relax and see, okay, I may not be able to sleep as much as I want. It's not good, but I'm doing my best. I'm improving a little bit by little my sleeping habits and quality. And hopefully I will feel rested tomorrow and I'll just improve. So take it easy. And if you think it's worse, if there's something else that's causing anxiety, please look for help and please focus on that because not sleeping because I don't know, your conscious or something else that is affecting you will decrease your life quality in general. And number 10, a bad sleep environment. Your sleep environment plays a significant role in the quality of your rest. Factors such as an uncomfortable mattress or pillow, excessive noise, bright lights or improper room temperature can disrupt your sleep. As a rule of fact, make your room cold, make it dark, make it quiet, and make it clean. Be sure that all these things are fulfilled. And believe me, it will improve your sleep quality. And this is it, ladies and gentlemen. These are 10 possible reasons why you didn't sleep well in the last evenings. If you want to listen to more sleep tip sleeping tips, please subscribe. More videos are coming. And please write in the comments, why do you think you have not been able to sleep well in the last days? And or what you have done to fix some of your sleeping problems. Maybe you can help someone else by sharing your stories. So thank you very much for being here and I wish you that you can have a good night's sleep tonight and every night the rest of your life. Thank you very much. Ciao, ciao.